hello guys welcome back in the last lecture we have discussed all about how we can create a login and registration system in this video i'm going to teach you how you can create a a2 card feature inside e-commerce project so let me teach you i go to any product inside the product have a image price quantity and add to cart button and also information like a uh, product description so we will use this one page to get the data from there and we will perform the operation like a add to cart and display the product uh, quantity inside of our navigation bar right so i'm gonna teach you how you can do that open your code editor and open a file with the name of product.php like this one inside this file have uh, this function this uh, mysql i page associate and you can use a result variable to get the data from the database like uh, i'm going to show you just a minute image um, price and also uh, description right so i will use this one variable to assign another values like quantity and also product id so i'm going to show you how you can do that go to below and find out the input text field uh, value one this is a quantity uh, input text field i'm going to cut that and write the form tag remove the action write the method is post inside there you need to paste that then cut the closing form tag and paste off the submit button like this one once you've done that then you need to assign the value inside quantity this is a quantity uh, and put text value you need to write a value what value write basic syntax of php write equal result and your database column name which have a i think qty and you need to assign the id qty this id you can use this id to get the particular product quantity right then the ne next thing is assign the id on the button so call value basic syntax of php call of result and your database column name is a pid i'm going to show you just a moment products and this is your database column name i mean table name is pid and this is a quantity of the product once you assign that then you need to assign the what um, pid so we will use this one id and also this one id to get the data from there right so you need to go on a jquery.js page inside there you need to write the function function add cart write document dollar document dot on click and you need to assign the event so i'm gonna call dot uh where is the event i'm gonna target class like site btn to generate the event and run this one function like console dot log we need to check that it's working or not so i'm gonna copy that go to above and paste the function on there so that let's check it now it's working or not yes it's working 
in the uh, in the console screen we are able to see but I don't know why I can't see the still button is uh, available so okay like uh, I think I will use I'm gonna remove that and then I'm gonna check that still working I use same but I right um, type button so and this is the form post uh, everything is a perfect so yes as you can see you just need to change the type uh, submit to button right once you done that then you need to get the data so I cut that and call where QTY and QTY this is my input text field ID that will help us to get the ID I mean a quantity you need to also make a another variable and call PID value so those are IDs which are uh, assigned on there uh, like this one and this one once you get that then you need to write console.log and call qty and pid we need to check that we are getting the data or not so this is a quantity i'm going to call five and this is the product id on our so i'm going to click on that as you can see this is a quantity and this is our particular product ID once you get that then write the function I mean send the request into Ajax dollar dot Ajax right we will pass the data into uh, another page so we will create another page so I'm gonna copy that to save the time and paste on there we need to change the function name uh, I mean uh, file name manage card.php and we will pass the quantity qty and pass the quantity on there pid this is the post id and also uh, but this time I leave that and I will teach you on later so once everything is clear then I call console dot log and call data so we need to create a file inside our Ajax folder um, manage let's go card.php inside this file we need to uh, use the same thing like this one copy that and paste on there use closing speed brackets and then we will get the data so I remove this one manage card so quantity and this is the quantity variable qty right and this is a pid and this is the pid right so i'm gonna call pid i'll leave the last one and then i think everything is perfect so let's uh, check out now i'm gonna call echo qty and concatenation sign space concatenation sign pid so if everything is clear then we will able to see same thing but this time i have used php five six perfect refer that to 16 i open 
and this fan page this is my product ID and this is our quantity right then the next thing we need to do we need to store the data inside our session variable so I'm gonna show you how you can do that go to function start PHP file add to card fun so I'm gonna call function add card inside there we will call a session so I'm gonna call a card and we need to pass two parameter on there PID and QTY so first you need to copy that paste on there and call again QTY and assign the QTY value this function will help us to store the uh, product ID and quantity inside our session variable which session card session so I'm gonna copy that go to uh, this one page minute uh, underscore card PHP and paste on there you need to pass two parameters first one is a quantity second one PID right I think uh, we need to uh, arrange them quantity and PID right mm, okay I undo that and I will use same thing and on there I use uh, PID and quantity right I think everything is a perfect but one more thing we need to do we need to uh, go on function uh, I mean jq.php and I'm gonna call comma type type equal to add if this function means we will call this one function to send the request inside manage card.php page inside manage dot uh, card.php page if this function type is add then run the function so I'm gonna call if uh, type um, but we also equal to add we need to also get the type value so I'm gonna call type mm, perfect I call type then run the function which function this one function add to cart right and we will uh, create another session function that will help us to uh, count the cart value so I go to function.php page total our uh, cart or values so I'm going to call function total cart value parenthesis is gets inside there I call if set dollar go session which session card session is active then come into the if body and we need to call written keyword count dollar nickel session card value let's go session otherwise we will uh, assign the value return zero means if our session was session card session is active and uh, once the card is active uh, session card is active then uh, run the count function inside the session card session have any value we will call the return function and get the da uh, data or value if the session this session is not active then run the else statement and assign the zero value right so let's move on the first I'm gonna copy this one function and call the function on there call echo and I go to perfect 
perfect so let's check out now i call add mm, type is assume and this will throw an exception right so let's uh check out okay here's a mistake i call dollar so as you can see guys this is a my product value we are seen inside the console screen i refer that i call again right so i want to display this one value on there this one icon so you need to go on nave.php page said not to set ink and nave.php and you need to find out where it is here it is so you need to uh, call the function like a uh, total card value and there so i'm gonna call card value this is my variable and assign the function session function you need to copy that and where it is there uh, you need to write basic syntax of php and call echo and this one i think it should be displayed but we need to also copy this one id go to jq.js and we call dollar this id dot html and display the data value on the card so let's check it now it's working or not i'm gonna click call as you can see one but the thing is i refer the page i can't see the value i go to uh, index.php page i select any product i call add to cart we are seen but i refer the page i can't see the value so you need to fix that you need to go on the function.php page not function manage card.php uh, page inside there you need to call session is dot that's it save and refer the page add to cart perfect i go to uh, refer the page still number is there I call uh, this one to I increase I go to another product like a keyboard increase the quantity call I already selected that I go to headphone right there as you can see guys so this is our complete process to add the card inside the um, session variable we will call that on later how you can manage that so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture